from carrying rocket parts on bicycle and using a toilet as satellite data receiving center to the historic landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's south pole. ISRO's journey has been epic. Now, ISRO's next big chapter aims to go bigger. India's first solar mission, Aditya L1, is already in the works. It will be ready for launch in September. It is the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun. The much more ambitious next chapter of the Indian space program also aims to put Indians in space on an Indian platform. This will be under the Gaganyaan program. ISRO had shared that three Indian astronauts would spend three days in space as part of the Gaganyaan mission. Their training has been completed. ISRO has also set its sights on Venus with the scheduled Venus mission in the year 2024. Shukrayan 1 is scheduled to launch in 2024. The idea was born more than a decade ago in 2012. Now, optimal launch windows from Earth to Venus occur once every 19 months. This is why ISRO has backup launch dates in 2026 and 2028 should it miss a 2024 opportunity. Now, the Mars Orbiter Mission 2, also called Mangalyaan 2, is India's second interplanetary mission planned by ISRO. ISRO plans to launch this mission by 2024. NASA and ISRO have also tied up to put together a powerful Earth observatory satellite. NISAR NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar will track the movement of Earth's land and ice surfaces in extremely fine detail. NISA will map the entire globe in just 12 days. Now, ISRO has a long list of upcoming missions aimed at exploring new frontiers in space. Looking back, the Indian Space Odyssey has come a long way. Well, it may surprise some of you to know that ISRO was actually formed way back in 1962. It was then called the Indian National Committee for Space Research under the leadership of Vikram Sarabhai. In the following year, it was replaced by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Now, the earlier days of ISRO were full of struggles, with limited resources and funds. Before India's first rocket launch, certain parts were even transported on bullock carts and bicycles at times. However, ISRO's journey has been marked by significant achievements. Now, within a year of Incospa's establishment, India launched its first rocket for upper atmosphere investigation in 1963. India's first satellite, Arya Butter, was launched on April 15, 1975, with the assistance of the Soviet Union. ISRO then developed its first launch vehicle, Satellite Launch Vehicle 3 SLV-3, which launched the Rohini satellite RS-1 on July 18, 1980. In 1981, ISRO launched its first indigenous satellite, the Apple Experimental Satellite. There were resource constraints leading to parts being transported by bullock carts. In 1984, India sent its first Indian citizen into space. Indian astronaut Rakesh Sharma participated in a joint Indo-Soviet mission, spending eight days on the Soviet space station Salute 7, making him the only Indian national to date to ever go to space. The first successful PSLV launch occurred on September 20, 1993. In 1999, PSLV launched satellites from three different countries into Earth's orbit, including an Indian satellite showcasing India's launch capabilities. In 2001, GSLV was used to launch an Indian satellite into geosynchronous orbit and later in 2008, it carried Chandrayaan-1 to the moon. During Chandrayaan-1 in 2008, ISRO discovered water molecules on the moon's surface. In 2013, ISRO successfully launched the Mars Orbiter mission Mangalyaan, which was inserted into Mars orbit in 2014. Afterwards, in 2019, ISRO launched Chandrayaan-2, though the land of Vikram lost communication during the landing. Now, with the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, India becomes just the fourth country in the world to reach the moon. It is also the only country to land on the south pole of the moon. Now, despite the challenges, ISRO's achievement have brought immense pride to India.